What is going on, folks? Uh, welcome to another live stream of Avian Man. Uh, we had a <laughs> we're doing the restart of the intro again because uh, I just thought that the microphone was on, but I always have to change the microphone later on. But we are in uh, Roma Fiumicino, we'll be heading to Palermo, a uh, beautiful island of Sicily, on board the PNDG Aero Italia 737-800. Now, we do have a special stream today. Today is a little bit of unscheduled uh, stream. Yesterday, I fly release their active sky for flight simulator and we'll be taking uh the flight sim for a spin and check out some of the things that the uh, active sky offer now i did pick this route and i just realized that there's no even a cloud in the sky well true it's caval okay on uh, uh it's caval okay on both sides of the airport uh, i think in rome and in palermo we do have some uh, broken cloud and scattered cloud so we're gonna see that but this is not like a more like a weather uh a cloud predicting um thing it's more like a the effects that you can get okay the weather depiction let's have a look if we can get some of that low level shear wind shear turbulence uh, uh the, i know they're working on um uh in cloud uh, um in cloud in cloud turbulence and we're gonna see if we can uh find some uh uh different clouds uh, or different depiction of the clouds uh, uh we're gonna do another stream later on uh, uh this next week um with the active sky for flight simulator and maybe we'll decide a, a round that has a little bit more weather movement around all right so before uh without any further ado let's go ahead into the flight deck um we are all boarded up gsx is ready to go uh we are perfect uh, 10 minutes behind schedule well let's go ahead as the let's go ahead and turn on the apu all right i'm gonna wait for the apu to load up window heat on lovely how's everyone doing hope everyone is doing fantastic we're gonna be please leave a like and a subscribe and please make sure you leave a comment in the section comment section below it's very important uh, it helps drive uh, uh 
traffic into the channel and we're trying to rebuild this channel as they uh, used to be so uh before i took my long break so it's been a while i haven't been streaming so i appreciate everyone that's tuning in uh whether in rome but we're looking at departure let me refresh again now uh, 101 101 that's all that yeah, one zero one. I'm not going to even set up the iBeam tracker today. Be my tracker. As uh, uh, I'm going to check that out another time. 290 at 18 Cavalk. See? Cavalk. But on arrival, it's a little bit different. We have some scattered clouds. 350 at 16. I want to see. I want to really see that um, turbulence if it's actually true or not. Okay. APU is up and running. If you bleed on, go ahead, uh, uh, get ready for departure. All right. We don't need pushback. Close the four doors, uh, return doors. Come on. Got it. I got it. Closing doors. All right. So we'll be using runway two, um, five for departure, I believe. Runway two, five for departure. Let me have a look. No, let's do it for four minutes in it. Okay, performance request. All that information in. It's gonna load up in a second. Load, there you go. Last thing that has been loaded up. Okay, flight level 330 uh n1 limit uh we're gonna be uh hit this take off performance the ofb from aircraft uh take off flap flap five rating take off anti-ice off for cg okay weather hey right. calculate Oh, right. Runway 25. Right, 57, uh, 131, 132. Let's do that. Take off one, take off. Plus five. Okay, and we say 131, 132, 138. One. 31 132 and no. oh. rotation speed 138 voila uh we're gonna have to do the winds are we said We got the winds two nine zero eight. Two nine zero eight. Okay, we take our speed later. Again, one thirty. One thirty two and one thirty eight. Fantastic. All right. MCP, I'm going to put 138. Nicolas, good afternoon. Welcome aboard. Good to have you here. Good to have you here, my friend. Uh, get the departure. So stuck 5 alpha departure. Uh, so stuck uh, 5 alpha. Thing. We're doing the so stuck 5 alpha. Yeah. 3,000. 
Okay, and heading 217. Two one seven set. We're gonna keep ten thousand. Good over here, and let's go ahead. There's no need for that. Next to take off flight. The go ahead start the engine. Okay, looking for N1 rotation. Uh, yep. I got rid of the uh ground service here. Stop remove. Okay, let's switch back. Engine number one start. And one rotation select okay start valve open lower pressure 17 egt let's give it some fluid fuel like one zero one two set on across that's good do a positive engine start on both one and two I'm heading there uh taxi lights on uh, and we turn up forgot to turn off those turn on those wheels will off uh, what else do we need this this and we forgot to really do these I don't think we have anything in the center pump Keep an eye on that. Pro beats. Uh, I'm just doing this kind of like a, a little bit random, all right? Nothing like 737 pilots have to do. Not a 737 way of doing it, okay? Just want to make that clear. Unable 250, right? Got it. Okay, what's the. I forgot the call sign for Aero Italia. Alright. I think it's just Aero Italia. 143 pop. Let's walk. 1000. That up and we'll be taxing to runway 25 by Echo Fox Trotto, sorry, Echo Delta, Echo, the yeah, Echo Delta, Echo Fox Trot, Echo Golf. No, oh, well, let's, let's do the other one. Echo Delta, Echo Bravo, November Golf, November, Bra November, yeah, Bravo, I got it. 
Here we traffic out Italia 143 Papa, Boeing 737-800. We'll be taxiing to runway 25 uh, via Echo Delta, Echo Bravo, November Golf, November, then Bravo. Hold short, runway 25 on Bravo, Bravo. Give me traffic. Back race of release. Down, up, and right. Flop spot. The LIPP center, what is that? Not related to us. It'll be a little fast taxi because that's gonna work. <laughs> what time is it? Yeah, okay. Feed. The golf. Uh, but you know what? Let's take a shortcut. There's no one in the area, so we can do this. Traffic is changing a uh, taxi pattern uh, 2025 using Echo Golf, uh, Delta, Delta Mike, uh, and uh, Old Shore Bravo Bravo Runway 25. Which you know, traffic. Traffic is changing. Alright, short taxi flight attendants, please prepare the cabin for departure. Do that. We have traffic at Italia one four three Papa lining up uh, runway. 2-5 uh, would be an immediate departure over the slow stack of 5 uh, delta departure to the west uh, to metro. All right. Oh. Uh, I'm for the Toga but Or not. One rotate. Gear up.
be check plus. Traffic moving along the 342 established ILSP for right, 7 miles final, keep the traffic. Alright, fantastic departure out of Rome. Beautiful view of the Ostia. It's Ostia Beach. Beat check. Beat check. Club up. RTO. Position to up. Fantastic. Wow. What a beautiful day to try. Um, to try act the sky, not a cloud in the sky, not one, not one whatsoever. But uh, what I want to test is the turbulence. So, act the sky even on? Yeah, it is. Okay. There you go. That's Actus Guy for Flight Simulator over here. Uh, a lot of people has they said they had issues. I don't have any issues. I'm not gonna lie. I loaded up. Uh, I had no issues whatsoever. Uh, it's cool that it comes with a briefing of uh, your with your flight plan that comes connects with Sim Brief, so you can uh, just press Sim Brief and it's gonna load up your latest Sim Brief plan. Uh, I have it set to automatically send it to. Uh, to the flight plan here you can print it save it load it um load a, a flight plan uh let's also change the altitude lirp approach the pizza also we need to change the standard there you go and then set this for a high altitude, which is a cruising fly level of 330 and all good over here. Landing lights can come off. Off, off. There you go. Fantastic. Um, Pipeline is all in and all good. So what I'd like to do now, let's go ahead and get some views from outside here. Um, and uh, let's talk about uh, what comes with Act the Sky. All right, so you got your uh, flight plan section over here. Now you got your briefing section over here where you basically over here you, on your flight plan, it gives you all your waypoints, all your routes. Uh, you connect your, uh, you go on your settings over here. You connect your SIM brief and uh, it asks you if you want to use the uh, ARAC. 
I'm not sure. I'm gonna have to find out how to update the A rack over here. But so far, it's working. Uh, it in, when, once you press Sim Brief, it's gonna bring the actual waypoint. Uh, if you don't have Sim Brief and uh, you need to update the A rack, it's gonna otherwise it's gonna use this 2210, and we are way past that now. But if when if you have Sim Brief, you don't have to do anything because uh, it just go ahead. It, it just grabs the uh, the data from Sim Brief automatically. Um, you have your information here, fly plane, climb, uh, climb rate, kind of information, the top of climb and distance. Uh, you can see when approximately is your top of climb, but fly low 330, what's the weather's going to be, the winds and so on, whatsoever. Um, kind of, you have a depiction of the weather much, much nicer. Now, of course, if you change, make any changes throughout, this is going to be all gone. Uh, because again, you don't have an updated IRAC, right? In this case, i made changes on arrival. They asked me to... Uh, arriving to Palermo runway 7 we're gonna use runway 2 fire on our nav approach so uh, you got your briefing over here average winds temperatures uh, so 33431 that's our average uh, winds the temperature at top of climb 54 um so we have a 13 it's basically say we had 13 and 55 almost like a 13 knots of uh, direct headwind um there you go you get some turbulence clear air some clear air turbulence and that's one of the depiction that one of the things that actually came with a um active sky for flight simulator you do find some uh, more um clear air turbulence uh, than you would find on your regular microsoft flight simulator weather system um which is always good um i do like to see a little bit more uh action in the air uh, they are currently working on uh, uh, cloud turbulence. So the moment you cross, say in, your, in real life, every time you cross over a cloud layer or just a single cloud in the sky, you're going to get some bumps because of the different density of the air. All right. So that's what they're working on. They're also working on API for um, the weather radar. Right now, we do have a sort of a weather radar. Uh, it's kind of, it's called AS weather web companion and it shows up over here like this as you can see ask ask this guy remote weather they're working on an api is going to show the clouds as you can see you can choose what to see segments clouds uh and they're going to try to improve and actually this is pretty cool as you can see it gives you also detailed weather briefing in one page okay at every single point you will see it all that stuff it's going to show you the time you're gonna spend in the air um i think this is great if you're flying vfr for planning purposes uh i don't think none of us actually will look into this if you're flying ifr if you're flying vfr on a cessna 172 and you do a cross-country flight these are information that you want to know how long it's going to take you to go through that sector um what's the weather going to be like can i choose a better altitude for that uh Expected weather in uh, in uh, condition in uh, Palermo is going to tell you three five zero sixteen. So winds to north, and uh, the winds are expected over here three five zero sixteen. Uh, temperature fifteen degrees Celsius. Anyway, it got it kind of gives you uh, and it's called uh, and it comes with it when you download Active Sky. It's going to also uh, give you this little icon for Active Sky Weather Web Companion. Uh, but they're working on an API so that uh, people, whatever radar we see uh, up here, okay, we can they can get a weather depiction uh, using the API uh, for like the MDG or Phoenix can use that API to implement weather radar and they're working on it. So that's a good thing about it. So we can finally have a weather radar like P3D used to have. Or uh, what else do we have? You can also choose for scenarios, uh, uh, I assume, like, uh, for weather slate, um, like, uh, if you have any, uh, turbulence you want to go through or some, uh, hurricane weather you want to go through. Condition at current position, it gives you all that information right here. If you use Acta Sky before, this is going to be all very familiar. If you're new, it's very easy. Anyway, so, um. The station range uh, track up lock way. There you go, it's gonna lock up. 
on the aircraft there you go and it gives you all the information we need clouds case ability winds So we're going to work on that because I think it's not popping. All right. Weather control. Now there's two different modes you can have your weather to. You can have it into, well, three actually. Live, historical up to 10 days before. And manual. You can decide uh, to bring a meter, I guess, uh, and imp implement that meter over there. Depiction mode. Now there's two different depiction mode. Passive. And active sky preset control. So passive means basically it's going to use the weather from uh, Microsoft. So it's going to depict the weather from Microsoft and do everything from Microsoft. Uh, all it all it will do is basically create and enhance uh, some of the features like a turbulence clear or turbulence and things like this. Uh, especially when you fly into a uh, a cumulus uh, it was actually going to show technically a cumulus numbers uh instead of like you want to see if you fly into thunderstorm you want to see that vertical development and active sky is going to is going to bring that up um the vertical development so the cbs and stuff you can also choose the uh select your favorite meters if you want over here um fire up information you can here put it information right here uh what is your uh location and you're gonna say moderate turbulence blah 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 and you can post it so that people can actually see uh what's the the if the aircraft in front of them or near them has encountered some weather that's actually a cool feature i do like that uh i think database options you can uh, you have a whole bunch of options cloud option maximum cloud turbulence that i put it highest prevent thunderstorm when cb is recorded uh, will not trigger the rendering of thunderstorm clouds they only will trigger thunderstorms okay so that's basically saying if there's cb they will not depict the thunderstorm but if there's stunt ps on the meter then they're going to show the thunderstorm Two. broken seven eights uh, Force any broken coverage of 586878 to the maximum 78 broken coverage, uh, increases coverage and density. I think I, I just kept it like these, the, these are all the value. I keep it like this. Um, winds, surface winds, you know, that's the highest wind speed in knots at surface. We're not going to get anything like that. We're not going to be flying like that. I feel into those uh, flying into hurricanes. Maybe you want to bump it up a little bit, but otherwise 100. I think it's highest maximum wind turbulence the wind uh, turbulence effect scale how much you know you want it to be effect uh you can work on that so let's go ahead and put it to 80 and see uh you know maybe seven okay um force atc wind lock enable so the surface winds will be minimum six knots and not change the departure a destination making AI run with selector predictable. All right, that's if you want to. You fly. I don't fly a um, offline. Vampire, welcome aboard. Welcome aboard. You love. Of course we do. We all love planes here. Good to have you here. So we are checking out Active Sky for a moment here. Instant layer wind interpolation is set to true. The wind and direction speed at intermediate altitudes will be interpolated from the upper and lower a lot of layers which is cool okay you get an interpolation of wind so kind of like an average between the winds if you have a wind information about on flight level 330 and uh, 350 it will interpolate the winds in between as well you're not going to switch uh automatically like uh, suddenly to a different wind all of a sudden wake turbulent strength yes and no i haven't you know we have to really fly behind it Okay, are we at double time? We'll have to look into that. Double the will be coming up soon. Okay. Maximum downdraft rate. Uh, if you have a downdraft of 1,000 feet per minute, I mean, if you really push it 1,500, 2,000, 
at this point you're just gonna go in and crash your, your plane <laughs> there's nothing there's nothing's gonna do so I leave it a default I, I leave these values at default updraft thermal rate default uh, realistic thunderstorm uh, and updraft rate bypass the default up and down draft limits uh, when flying inside the thunderstorm cells well we haven't flown into a thunderstorm cells as you can see today we picked the route with the clearest sky ever unfortunately but um we'll see random light chop surveillance percentage now this i like to bump it up too i'll just let's do it 80 why not 80 percent chance it, it actually is very realistic so visibility option fog layer generation if you want a fog layer generation uh, when the you know generator fog like he says over here it's set to i set it on and actually is on by default minimum surface visibility something like a cheat code if it's Z, zero keep it at zero maximum surf 75 uh, max upper visibility audio options i believe it's just the application startup play winds and cheer i like this wind shear or also i keep i turn it on and it's gonna give you wind shear wind shear whenever you are flying so uh wind shear ahead in other option over here like audio option warning option notify a new version okay of course these are uh what else do we have? depict hurricanes yes depict smoothing smoothing rate 50 so set relative rate speed of smoothing between clouds and weather changes in sim lower rates lower transition set to 100 for disable all smoothing enable instant change keep it in the middle vatsim in online weather use vatsim for significant station of user flight plan departure so this is i'm gonna use this if i fly into an fno or a big event just so that we don't screw up at atc um that immediately prevents uh you, if you you can do that prevent downloads on approach and departure so you're not gonna have a wind shear all of a sudden uh, i i don't know i like to keep it like that you can change this and we are about to hit top use navigraph data for vr and bmdgx4 part you gonna uh not sure about this i'm gonna read this a little bit more oh i think it's using uh for the weather on your tablet when you use your tablet yeah auto load flight sim sim brief oh sim brief id things said auto load sim brief flight. all right we're gonna we're gonna see now in a few moments what's the weather will be like down below screenshot meantime ladies and gentlemen we'll be starting our descending to palermo in a few moments uh, i'd like to ask the flight attendants please prepare the cabin for arrival we expect arrival in about uh, 20 minutes we're in palermo it's uh, clear skies a few clouds actually uh over the uh, near the airport uh winds coming from the north uh, temperature of 15 degrees celsius flight attendants please prepare the cabin for arrival Alright, so we're doing runway 25. LPV, LPV, no. LPV runway 25, uh, so we don't have LPV, but we're gonna use the R level. I believe for that we need to use the rival. This is the Rosa's 5 Golf. Rosa Spiker. Okay. 
with the speed restrictions we have the Rosenstein Golf Interceptor the Palermo VOR Radial 016 inbound via Spuma then uh, DME 33 Palermo turned left along the DME 30 arc when passing Palermo uh, Radio 28 turned right to Baduk then to Labro. So PMO, no Palermo VOR, we're gonna set that. Yeah. Once again, guys, if you're new to the channel, please go ahead and leave a like and a subscribe. That would be greatly, greatly, greatly appreciated. All right, I'll break two. Oh, look. look at that. And request and that's what I was saying download data to uh, PMDG I think that's exactly what it's talking about bringing the winds from the active sky into uh, your FF, uh, FMC okay. what's the airport evasion spot? check that too Sixty-five. Load that information. So we're gonna set. What? There you go. Execute. Go down a little bit more. set all the way down to 4,000. All right, we see some clouds popping up. We're going to have a look. And some turbulence. You can see, guys. We're getting some winds. Some clouds that popped up. Right, but I want to bring also the map. We didn't bring the map up, huh? There you go. Map is up. Fantastic. Beautiful weather, but beautiful uh, uh, time right now to fly. Get up. All right, so the winds are affecting actually our flight path a little bit more, um, and uh, that can be changed. Okay. You can change how much the winds can affect your. Uh, how much the winds can affect your uh, flight. So we put it up to 70, I believe. Uh, I'm going to drop it down to 50 and see if that makes it a little bit more stable. But sometimes I'm like, okay, that's a little bit too much. Uh, maybe, maybe. And you guys need to test it out. Okay. We're going to, uh, on the next stream, we're going to try to do a flight with and without it. Today, we unfortunately we don't have much time. So, uh, There you go. Bank angle. Not sure why I activated a bank angle. Good 
club 30 landing uh i feel like i need to so to help us this then let's do four thousand gonna help a little bit do we change how the winds are affecting the plane a little bit but as you can see there's still a little bit of wobble okay so that's good so i think we found a good balance i think we're going to keep it at you want to keep it at 50 percent beautiful time to fly in once again guys if you want to purchase the active sky 4 flight simulator there'll be a link in the description down below it's on sim market but also available on just flight and aerosol i do buy stuff on sim market because i like to have all my add-ons that mostly in one place um we're also going to talk about on uh, uh i'm going to try to do a video about this new website that i uh come across uh, recently called fs compare all right that website's gonna give you uh compare all the prices and find uh, where is the cheapest option if it's gonna be a flight.co or if it's gonna be on the sim market or by or other place So right now it's retailing for 24 euros uh, that is approximately 25 bucks and cents a few cents so um i don't mind I'm, I'm looking at this how the plane is wobbling is actually pretty cool okay so we are on the descent path again now if you don't like this wobble around and i believe we're getting some wins here that's why and it depicts clear air turbulence and things like this so let's have a look here so no winds i'm gonna show you the winds at different levels in this case we are at uh what are we at Sixteen thousand feet Okay, so this is something I was not experiencing before. So. So this is all new for me. thousand feet RMP one on this side 0 0.05 on this side good uh let's set up a few info here I'm gonna do the fix um a lot of more it's the uh, EAL Papa Alpha Lima uh, that's the VOR 112.3 yes now we're gonna need uh, uh, DME 30 so let's do slash 30 that's gonna give us the DME arc that that's exactly when we're supposed to fly uh, along the DME arc okay. and then the fasting the radio 28 uh, at radio 28 zero twin zero two eight
Okay, we got that information. RMP, we're looking into that too. Missed approach. Okay. Uh, uh, right, final approach course 244, 3000 feet to descent. Uh, decision altitude refer to minimum. LTV, okay. We do not have LTV excellent, so. Wait. Bro. Is the RMP truly? Love it. Uh. Decision altitude uh, is 30 minutes. UMDA is up 30. Set that one up. Eighty set over here, barometric. All right, what else do we need to do? Uh, minimum sector altitude seventy seven hundred uh, for the at uh, the airport. Missed approach turn right. Uh, maximum one hundred eighty five knots to intercept and follow track twenty two. Climbing uh, three thousand to follow. All right, we don't need it uh, because that's gonna be. GPS. 10,000 feet. Advise flight attendant to take a seat but do the final preparations. it to keep an eye on the clock because the 135 okay. so as you can see we did feel some jolts before uh and that's actually part of the active sky which is cool and we're still getting a little bit of uh jolts left and right so that's cool winds are something that Effect actually. <laughs> this view. You see some clouds over there formation, and actually you can see it on the, on your little map on this side as well. As you can see, there are some clouds over there. So. Screenshots here. Beautiful livery, by the way, El Italia. Yeah. 
you see Palermo is on that side thousand feet Okay, and Q and H is the check. No, I need this guy. Just do. Lee forgot to shoot. Club thirty landing. Go. Count the light. One fifty four. Huh? That's quite high. Auto break to. One forty three, keep that in mind, and uh, one forty three, uh, go back in here. One zero one. One zero. Palermo traffic, uh, Aero Italia 143 pop up, 0.737800 on the on the uh, on the Rosas uh, 5 Golf uh, arrival just past Balduk inbound to Labru for the Arnav approach Zulu runway 25, uh, Palermo traffic. Flaps 5. You were shot a little bit there. Traffic inbound. What do we say was the approach speed? One forty three. One forty. Feature plus fifteen.
Alright, get down. That is, uh, zero feet. There we go. Plus 30. One forty two. You sure this is right? Huh. Interesting. Palermo traffic out of Italia. One of four, uh, three papa. On uh, five miles, five miles final uh, runway two five. Uh. Oh, we forgot to put the replay. Darn it, we always forgot the replay. Back. My aircraft. That should be the next. Just a little bit. My throttle. Runway. Left clear. Right clear. Well, I'm more traffic. Air Italia one uh, four three Papa. Exiting runway two five uh, on to two zero. Then we'll take uh, Tango to the ramp. Uh, 
اريد عليه اه خلينا نموت بعض I thought it was a traffic lining lining up for a second there. Oh yeah, there is. Alright, let's clean up the plane, flaps up. Let's off. Good. If you. Oh. Must be a very tiny airport. Uh, airplane. Okay, so we're gonna take. go down on November and from November parking then that's the 113 actually we'll take Lima and then Papa Tango Papa too bottom traffic Car Italia 143 Papa will take Tango Lima, Papa 2, then 113. Animal truck. You gotta see a little Learjet or something. Oh, he's trying to. Ooh. Got that crosswind. <laughs> This Peter over there pushing back. Uh, deck. That uh, one thirteen. I'm gonna hit this truck. Park brakes on. If you 
on. Fantastic. Engine number two, engine number one, cut off. Very good parking. Thank you, sir. And let's do GSX. Request deboarding. Ladies and gentlemen, we have arrived into Palermo. Let's have a look at the weather on this side here. Alright, let's have a look here. The weather is... I just feel like this. I mean, it look it does look a little bit better. Get it deeper over here. Uh, this is a bespoke airport, by the way, from uh, Microsoft. I think it looks phenomenal. And let's have a look at, let's read the METAR for this airport right now in a sec, okay? I think, I think it looks phenomenal. The cloud coverage looks much better. Uh, and we can try to turn it off and turn it back on, right? So let's do, uh, let's stop the replay first. Stop recording. Save. Uh, okay. Let's. What we can do. Um, let's first of all look for the meat art. All right. Let's what see what the meat art looks like. Uh, that's the meter for this is the meter for Palermo. We got three four zero at fourteen, and that was pretty good. Visibility, good. I think we are we got very good visibility, and scatter clouds at five thousand. Now that is that does look like scattered to me. This totally looks like scattered clouds to me. I don't know if you guys, but this looks like scattered clouds to me. Not sure why also they not um uh, I need to open the doors here. Turn Turn. Ah, return. Can't do anything here. Just let them be up. Okay, let's do this. Men. Tech. There is. Stop. No. They still need. They still need me to uh, open the doors first, which is crazy. I I really don't like that procedure because you don't open the door until that has connected. I think. 
I think. Is the anti collision lights off? It is. Park brake is off. Yeah. Huh. Interesting. Well, we're not here for a ground service simulator. That's for another day. But we're here to check the weather. I don't know if I keep that. All right. I think the weather just looks phenomenal here. Uh, it did show scatter five uh, scattered clouds, and this looks like a scattered clouds to me. Um, the top loop at five thousand feet, because I know it's higher than that mountain, which is lower than five thousand. Let's have a look. Can we go up? Bring the bring the speed. Camera up for a second. That well, I would say so. That's that looks like a five thousand to me. Looking down, okay. So when I fly on a Cessna. This looks like a 5,000 feet to me. Yep. Gonna, gonna, gonna watch this guy taking off too. And uh, let's see, that, that's the bat sim, by the way, that's the bat sim uh, weather. Let's have a look at, um, so I don't have the METAR connected to bat sim. So what I'm gonna do is actually find the METAR from the weather service, so be my near for Juliet uh, me part. There's a couple websites I use. Old Metsat is one. I will, will it admire the takeoff of this. Come on. Gonna use the whole runway? Look at that crosswind. Look at that crosswind that pushed him. Okay. Alright, so let's see the meteor that we can get over here. Uh, I wanna see the meteor. Where are you at? Okay, so it's, uh, let's see, scatter cloud at 5,000, sounds about right. Uh, we did have a direct crosswind, 34014, three, um, it's actually the same, uh, okay, same one. All right, and uh, let's see web companion, what web companion is telling us here. So, where are you, web companion? And that's another application that comes with, uh, Active Sky. Here you go. We got information over here. We can get the winds depiction removed. Let's see. Cloud coverage. You can get your clouds over there. Precipitation. Guess there's some precipitation. No, there's no precipitation. Seems pretty good. The cloud closest weather station. Three four zero visibility. Okay, scatter five thousand. Ah, it it just looked for me that they it it's done properly. Um, I'm gonna do another stream um next week. Either Wednesday or Thursday. I'm not sure if I'll be able to do something on Saturday or Sunday, um, but I'll try. If I cannot, we'll do something on uh, on uh, let's say when. We'll do something on Wednesday, okay? And we'll find a destination that has different weather. But right now, we discovered throughout the flight that we did have uh, clear air turbulence. The winds were affecting properly the aircraft. Uh, you feel a little bit more dynamic weather. There was a little bit more dynamics in the weather, which I love. That's that's what I really like to see in the sim. Okay. Now they we know also that they're working on an API so that Phoenix, PMDG, and all other sim developers can finally uh, build their own uh, uh, weather radar. It's, Microsoft does not have a, a weather radar API 
Um, and then also they are working on uh, in cloud turbulence, which is amazing. That's the thing that I really wanted the most actually passing over a cloud, passing through a cloud and feeling that few bumps because of the different density of air. All right. So let's that being said now, I would say let's jump on close these doors for it very quickly. Close doors. Close doors. Now I'm going to go ahead and turn off GSX. I'll do it the rough way. GSX, where are you? Alright, GSX has been turned off. Yep. Let's close the doors. I think we're all close, right? Are they all close? Uh, let's remove the chalk as well. Let's do a replay. So it's ground. Oh, chalk. Fantastic. Chalks have been removed. Let's do replay. Twenty. Let's turn on some of these lights. Well, I did not know I could turn them off like that. I found a click spot. <laughs> I got excited about it. Okay. Let's uh, do replay. Save. Nope. Uh, we're going to go ahead and put club down. Yeah, I'm really excited about this product. I'm not going to lie. It's... Uh, it's something I really was hoping for that Active Sky will because we I do have Rex Weather Force. I think it's it's made by the same company, um, but uh, it's uh, it's different. It's not the same. It, it's not the same of Active Sky. And I used to have uh, used to love Active Sky a lot when uh, uh, when I used to use P3D and, and XP. Of course, uh, with Microsoft, uh, we, the weather the weather is actually the weather system is not bad in on Microsoft. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, Sometimes I use Rex uh, and I was like, hmm, I don't know. Microsoft does a better job. Um, but with Atlas Guide is a little bit of game changer here. The weather looks a little bit more dynamic when you're flying through clear air as well. So uh, let's go ahead. And the clouds, as you as you notice, clouds aren't moving. So you do have uh, the this that, that was not there before if we look back this has moved in so the weather depiction is pretty good and if we check later maybe we'll see but uh if i could just but replay oh let me disconnect from that then. A little glitch from the lights here, unfortunately. But let's have a look if I can bring the letter. This, and I need to start the engine from inside. the engines during the replay did I forgot the music on the whole time I did
Uh, we had to check the landing rate. We forgot to do that. Any of it report. This is the guy. He is 103. Yeah. 111, 103. Perfect. start the engine on the ground here for a second and then we get the sounds of the engine um i think the music has been playing the whole time i'm sorry about that and okay, we're just gonna do a quick replay i should have started the edges before I guess some screenshot as well. Engine number two, very quick. Engine number one. And then we'll do the replay again. With engine stop. I had to work. <laughs> we love it. Alright, engine has started. Let's go ahead and do replay. Pause replay. But this. Resume replay. Let's do this. Get the spoilers up. A oh, beautiful view.
in the landing. Oh, well, he had a little breeze over there. Nice. Pretty damn good, I'd say. Let's go ahead and do one more replay on that side. Get this view. Would that have the sim freeze? <laughs> yeah, I think it was a good landing. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for tuning in. We'll be streaming again on uh, tomorrow. No, tomorrow. On next week. We'll be live again. And we're going to bring up Act the Sky and fly into some more challenging weather, hopefully. Uh, but overhaul, this is my opinion. Great product. Great, great product. More to come to this product, and we can't wait for that to happen. Uh, wish you all the best to high five to. Uh, to come up with a great um, innovation uh, here for Microsoft in the, in the weather section. We are hoping to see that API come up soon so that Phoenix and PMDG and everyone else can use that weather radar. Uh, we're looking forward for that clear, um, sorry, not clear, but this cloud turbulence. So whenever you fly into a cloud to get some turbulence. Right now, we do get some good uh, clear air turbulence. We do have a dynamic weather, uh, evolving weather like you see in Microsoft. Uh, weather depiction is uh, on spot right now. We scatter, it was scattered uh, clouds uh, 5,000. I think we are a little bit more than scattered right now. Uh, the weather probably have changed recently, uh, just now. And uh, well, we're just hoping to see more to come onto uh, Microsoft and we can't wait to see this app uh, or software develop uh, even further um once again this is pmd g737 800 uh, in uh, palermo we did a flight from rome to palermo clear skies rome we got some bumps uh, uh clear air turbulence uh, on arrival uh sorry mid-flight uh, and then we got some wind shears a little bit in the uh on on approach not approach but on our descent uh definitely felt more dynamic than the stock Microsoft weather thank you so much for tuning in uh, let's see if I have to Alex Aviation welcome aboard uh, if I catch you online uh, what agrees that Palermo is always a beautiful approach I do I wish we had runway set uh, on F7 with a visual we'll do that another time once again thank you so much for tuning in everyone uh, we are I'm going to work in uh, well 520 is my sign in we crossing the pond today over the ocean. We're going to Milan, so uh, I have to prepare for my flight and everything. And uh, be back. Uh, so I'm going tomorrow, tonight. Be in Milan tomorrow and be right back into Atlanta uh, then on Sunday. I'm going to see if I can do a little stream on Sunday 
or just to see if the weather if we can find any weather we can fly in and out otherwise Wednesday and Thursdays those my friends are the days we will be streaming all right thank you so much for tuning in uh, once again we we'll love you thank you for leaving a like and a subscribe and make sure you leave a comment down below and see let me know if you have any, any question about this app of the uh, about the software anything you like to see any areas you like to meet fly with act this guy or if you have any question related to flight simulation or aviation in general alex aviation the vampire nicholas and everyone else that tune in i see all set eight people watching us so uh, you're all a bit shy today in chat but if you want to leave a like and a subscribe we greatly appreciate it link in the description down, down below for your sim market uh, uh purchase on uh for active sky is right here i just have it uh, down below uh, in the links you can also find the link for a, an a, a affiliate link for the web eye tracker sorry be my track for the be my tracker um go ahead and check it out as well thank you so much for tuning in we'll see you next time as always be kind to one another and be safe blue skies everyone if your money is out you have a good night everyone